once again. In an earlier video, we have seen how to convert our Microsoft PowerPoint presentations into videos. I hope you watched the video and have been able to prepare your own videos. Now that you have recorded your videos and they are ready, you may find that your videos are too large to be sent by email. So come along with me, Dr. Sunanda Roy, to see how videos can be compressed small enough to share with others. Also, your receivers will be more than happy to accept videos which will not take up too much of their device's memory or space. So let's start compressing videos. We will be using a software which runs on desktops and laptops. The video compressor I prefer to use is called simply the free video compressor. Like its simple name, the free video compressor is really simple to use. So let's get started. So just type free video compressor on your browser and click on the website URL. This will take you to a home page with the download button. Click on the download button. You will get a save as dialog box where you can select the folder to store the free video compressor software. Then you click on save. A window pops up with a notification on the bottom left hand showing the software getting downloaded. This takes a few minutes. Double click on the notification to install the software in your device. Follow the procedures for downloading any other software. When the software is installed, you will find this icon. This will be visible on your desktop. The free video compressor will help you compress the size of any format of your video. Now you will have to choose a video which needs to be compressed. For that, you need to click on open. A dialog box opens where you have to select your video which needs to be compressed. I am selecting an mp4 file named as Circle of Friends. Again, we need to click on open. This will take you to a dialog box with the details of the video. Look at the file size of the video. It is 93.22 MB which is too large to be sent by email. We will be compressing the size. There are many boxes with other details. You don't need to click on those boxes as these details cannot be changed. Under them, you will find options. There, you will find desired video size. Click on the drop-down box you will get options of many video sizes ranging from 10% to 100% of the original video size. That means you can compress your video to its 10% to 90% of its original size. The file sizes shown here are as MBs which keeps on increasing as the percentages increases. Let us try to select 20% of the original video size. So the video will be compressed from 93.22 MB to 18.64 MB video. Click on Compress. You will see a Save As dialog box and the new video's name will be Circle of Friends compressed.mp4. The name dot compressed gets added to your video file name automatically. Click on save. It gets saved automatically in the same folder as the original video. The dialog box to start compressing the video opens asking you to start the compressing. Click on yes. Under progress, you will see 
the status of the video being compressed. This will take a few minutes. It's a little slow procedure. When it completes, a dialog box opens showing that the compression is successfully completed. Click on OK and that's it. Your video is compressed. Open the folder where both the original and the compressed video files are saved. Look at the difference between the sizes of the two videos. It has been compressed by approximately 76 MB. Let us look at a compressed video. In the beginning, it might be a bit pixelated. However, after a few seconds, it plays like the original video. Welcome everyone. In the previous video, we saw the qualities of an inclusive teacher. It is pretty overwhelming to see the amount of efforts these teachers take. However, they can take help from the peers and other people in the school to help out with these students with disability. These are the screenshots of the title slides of both the videos. Can you guess which one is the original one and which one is the compressed one? You really can't make out the difference between the videos. In the latest version of PowerPoint presentation, you can directly export and save a PPT into a video of different sizes. However, it does not give you an option to compress videos so small in size while maintaining the video image size, which the free video compressor does so easily. So let's do a quick recap of all the steps. Once the free video compressor is installed, you need to follow four simple steps. Step one, open free video compressor. Step two, select the video to be compressed. Step 3. Select the size of the compressed file and wait for the compressing process to complete. And Step 4. Save the compressed video. Amazing! The process is really very user-friendly. You must be wondering why I did not select the 10% size which would have compressed the video to a 9.32 MB. Let me show you why. Suppose we had selected the 10% size of uh, compressing it, which would compress the 93.22 MB video to a um, 9.32 MB one and clicked on compress. You will get a dialog box which says that the desired video size is too small. So try selecting sizes larger than 10%. Now your video is ready to be shared via email and other social media platforms. You can use this video compressor for any downloaded videos or videos made by you. Hope you have watched my video on creating videos using Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. If not, the link is given in the description box. You can also see a link on the end screen. So friends, don't let sizes of videos stop you from sharing good quality material with your students. Use a video compressor and share your videos. I hope you liked this video and will find it helpful. Wish you good luck for coming up with creative ideas to connect up online with your students. Thanks for watching the video.